When guys ask me what I do and I tell them I'm a race car driver and they think I'm joking, they're like, prove it. You know what? I don't need to prove anything to you. Racing is one of the only sports that you compete head to head with men. I think it's awesome because that's how we as women can show what we're capable of. Our brains, our focus, our reaction times, I think oftentimes we're overlooked. And I truly believe that I was destined to be exactly where I am now. Oh, hot. That was fun, though. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jamie Sanchez, and this is Broadly Meets. I'm here to meet Verena May, who is one of the only female rally race car drivers. She's invited us here to actually take us for a ride. Rally race car driving is a multi-million dollar industry. Rallying is considered by many to be one of the more treacherous motorsports, where cars go over 70 miles per hour and crashing and car flipping are common occurrences in races. Professional rally racing actually started in Europe in the early 1900s. It is now considered by many to be second in popularity and revenue after Formula One. However, while many of the big European races have several all-female rally teams, American rallying trails pretty far behind. Verena May is one of the only female rally drivers in America. As a trained stunt driver with a modeling and acting career, she has managed to penetrate a male-dominated industry and gave up her life in California to move to the small town of Littleton, New Hampshire to train with American rally legend Tim O'Neill. We paid her a visit to talk about what it's like to be one of the only chicks in one of the most dangerous motorsports in the world. What's that process like when someone tells you, like, no, I can't believe you're a race car driver, you're very cute Asian girl, like, why would you want to drive a car? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny because when I first transitioned from a model to a race car driver, it was an uphill battle. You know, nobody thought that I was really serious about it. They said, why do you want to do it? It must be just for media and self-promotion. But as I built my car and loaded my car on the trailer and things like that, then they realized that I was really passionate about it. I was willing to pay my dues. So that's how I started earning respect. So I started beating the guys and the people at the event would say, they don't care what place they come in as long as Verena doesn't beat them, they're fine. So that's when I knew, I was like, okay, I like it. I like it, you know, they, yeah. they see me somewhat as a threat, even though I had to work so hard to prove myself. Look, I'm not just somebody who's doing this to get attention, I'm doing it because it's my passion. We wanted to speak to Tim O'Neill himself and ask him what it's been like to train with Farina. Okay, so Tim, tell me a little bit about the differences between female and male rally car drivers. I know about women's better judgment, you know, because they tend to not crash as much. Men are terrible drivers, and yes. women are superior drivers. In most cases, <laughs> because of the better judgment. Just to make sure I got that. So can you tell me a little bit about working with Farina and, you know, how she's kind of evolved as a driver? She, I said, okay, if you're going to learn this, part of the thing is learn cars. You have to work on cars. So she stripped her first car. She took all the seats out, scraped all the floors, just because she <laughs> needed to learn how cars work. Right. Like, if you were to describe rally racing to someone who didn't know what it was, how would you describe it? When you think about other types of motorsports, they're usually on a track where you go around and around how many times and you know what corner is coming up because mm -hmm. you probably memorize the track. The first time we race it at full speed, that's the first time and that's the only time we'll see that corner throughout the whole rally. So we just have to be ready for anything, really. So I'm about to go on what's called a hot lap with Verena. Um, a hot lap is basically a lap around the mountain train at full speed. So where exactly are we going? So there's a loop around here, and um, it starts with a slalom. Then we're going to go uphill and come down. It's going to loop around. We're going to be back right here where we started. All right, Jamie, are you ready? I am definitely ready. All right, uh, I'm ready, so count me down. OK, three, two, one. Go. So this is the slalom that you're going to be driving through. Ah! We haven't even gotten to the road yet. <laughs> oh my god. All right. So this is a tight turn, so I have to slow down a little bit more. Whoa. Oh my god. What was it like when you first did this? It's kind of scary at first, and you have to really trust your co-driver. So it took actually a couple of rallies 
or drifting or driving, any of the motorsports that I've done is so much more challenging. I love it. I love the adrenaline, but I do really love the challenge of it all. You know, I push myself a little bit further every time. Even as we're going now, I go a little faster in each corner. That was amazing. That was incredible. I don't even know how to, oh, I can't even get out. <laughs> What was the first step in actually going down that path to getting behind the wheel? Prior to even discovering that I wanted to become a race car driver, I was on a commercial with Bobby Unger Jr., who was a stunt driver. And I knew, you know, he had a racing background in his family. I had a call sheet from about a year ago, and I'm like, oh my God, I know I'm not supposed to call anybody on this sheet, but I'm going to. He answered. He goes, what's up? I said, well, I want to try racing and I don't know where to start. Can you give me some advice? And he said, yeah, absolutely. So he referred me to stunt driving school. That's when I first learned to drift. In stunt school, it was just a power slide, you know, going sideways yeah. around the corner, but I loved it. So I said, you know what? I think I should get more training. Bobby Under Jr. said, hey, why don't you go to the Bond Around School? I was like, oh, it's a thousand bucks a day. I don't have that kind of money. I said, well, I'm gonna go to this trade show. It's called SEMA, it's Specialty Equipment Manufacturers Association's biggest automotive trade show in Vegas. And I was modeling <laughs> for a, a, another company. But every day on my lunch break, I would walk all the way down you know, <laughs> those high heels and try to meet with this racing school. Every day, like, oh, he's not here right now. Mm. Come back tomorrow. So I did that for four days straight. On the last day of a trade show, I looked up and it was a guy there and it said, the Bondurant School. I gave him my one minute pitch that I was practicing, of course, all yeah. week. So a couple days later, I got a call. He goes, Verena, I think that's a great idea. Come out to Phoenix and, and wow. let's get you in a car. Oh, that's amazing. That's how it started. And just the whole driving world just opened up to me and I was like, wow. It literally went, ah. Oh. And I, I was driving home, I was like, this is what I want to do. I want to I wanna race. Where does the passion for wanting to drive a car at high speeds in very unpredictable terrain <laughs> come from? I've always loved rally racing, watching it on TV. But it wasn't until later in my career, after I did drifting, after I did time attack, and I knew I always loved rally, but even though it's my ultimate dream, it's so crazy. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there's so many things that I thought were crazy, but I accomplished, so why not rally? With most sports, there is very like obvious segregation. There's a WNBA and NBA, there's women's soccer and men's soccer. And I'm curious to know what it's like to have the opportunity to compete kind of directly with male competitors where um, athleticism really isn't in question. It's more about skill and the way that you can operate a machine. I think it's an awesome opportunity to be able to compete head to head because that's how we as women can show what we're capable of without the physicality and different body types, things like that. Since we're operating a piece of machinery, then it's our brain, it's our focus, our reaction times, which, you know, I think it's proven that women have better reaction times. And, you know, guys want the adrenaline. They want to go as fast as they possibly can through each corner. Sometimes it's too fast. It's called overdriving. You can only go so fast through a corner before you know you fly off the road so women have to have a lot of knowledge so they ask a lot of questions i probably asked him thousands and thousands of questions till he didn't want to be asked anymore but i needed to know in order to try to figure out in my mind what's going to happen i think the differences between a male and a female in rally racing especially help me to be a more consistent driver because i am patient in the corners that i need to be patient in and then i can go flat out in the straight stuff what would you tell a young female who was interested in race car driving or rally race car driving I would definitely say go for it. I wish that when I was starting out behind the wheel that there was really another female to push me and say, you know what, if you really want to do it and you're really passionate about it, then yes, you will do it. 
Rena, thank you so much for your time <laughs> and for like everything you've shown me today. It's been an incredible experience. You're welcome. Thank you. It was so fun. It's so thank fun. You. I'm so glad you came out. All right. Woo!